thing uh, we didn't let uh, Jay Jardin talk us into doing this game last night, too. He was he was getting so much into it. He was saying, you know, oh, I'll well, do the game besides that was the Newfoundland game. We'll you'll get a dog of the game, and we'll have a good game beside playing that. And then he gets blown out 10 to 2. <laughs> and Newfoundland should have won that game. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon, where you're watching the 2016 Mixed Doubles Canadian Curling Championship. My name is Sean Joyce, Susan Lang with me at the broadcast table. Good morning, curling fans, and welcome. Carrie Tarasoff running the board to my left, as always. Again, all eight sheets going, as they will be for the rest of the day, and uh, two draws tomorrow to finish up the round robin. We're going to feature the game on sheet five. This will be our first look at the McEwens. Husband and wife team, Don and Mike. And they're going to be playing against Sherry Just and Derek Samogolski. Uh, the McEwens come in undefeated. Sherry and Derek taking the one loss. They come in at two to one. And you know, as the day goes on today, we're going to be watching those standings boards. It's uh, We know that the winner of each pool goes through and they actually advance straight through to the quarterfinals. There's 12 teams make the playoff. The other eight, they're going to be jockeying for position a little bit. We've talked about four and three might make tiebreakers, but right now that doesn't look certain at all. You can see here, pool A, two teams already through to four and O. Oh, they are going to have to play head to head yet at some point in time. And in Pool B, we've got one undefeated team still, but uh, two at three and one. And Pool C and D that are both playing here in this draw, and, and three teams in each pool sitting atop the standings at three and O. Oh. So you, you get a lot of teams separating themselves at the top. Three losses, maybe too many already. I'm thinking two losses is going to be pretty scary that Teams already now at two, I think, are thinking going to have to run the table through the rest of their round robin games in order to stay alive. So just underway here. Sherry just throwing the first yeah, stone here. Derek, her partner, Derek Samogalski, giving it a real good scrub. This team could very easily have been at three and zero oh also, but had a very rough last end in their second game and open hit missed allowed their opposition to get three points and the win but other than that Derek and Sherry have been okay. really strong but there are kind of our cardiac kids out here in the sense Good. that they've scored five they've had five point leads and have teams tie them they've been down five points in a game and come back to win so this team is all Wait, over the map good. with uh, lots of offense. I think they were the ones that we described as no defense, but throw, so lots you of rocks and play when they no, when I'm they uh, are out here on the ice. Uh, yeah, we expect them to right use the right whole here. scoreboard. Yep, yep, make sure your shot. Yep, yep, good, good, it's a good spot. Good throw. Come on, Chase. Okay. Here, from back. Oh. In turn. Okay. Nice weight on nice that there. draw. You heard him say just too much ice, didn't get into the line they would have liked. That gets heavy. Okay, well. Try to get to the inside. Yeah, well, it's got a curl. Still got a curl. Coming down. bad. Yep, yep. Hard. Silver curling, yep. Yep, hard. Had to wait a while for the line on this one, and then at the end you heard Sherry say it was actually so over did get pocket. a little bit of a bump. Okay. Wait, an edge on and the yellow. Nice position okay. on that front corner of the button. That's okay. I 
play the outturn next. I would have liked just a hair thicker, I think, and maybe tap that red back a little further and stay on the other side of the guard. Would have been much harder to remove this stone. Not that Mike's going to look to move it yet, but he'll have angle to get it out. So this is fun Try watching more. Mike McEwen. We know he throws with that prop, I guess. I wouldn't really call it a throwing aid, but so watch if he needs to get up and sweep. He's already pre-positioned his sweeping broom there on his left-hand side. Right, right beside Derek's throwing broom. <laughs> Derek will be doing the same pirouette, perhaps a little bit smoother than what Mike just did. Whereas with Reed Carruthers, we were watching when he's out there, Joanne oh, Courtney, I'm he just heavy. lets her do way, way most heavy. of the sweeping anyways. Yeah. Ah, sorry, I, okay. I think like I had seen line. a game earlier, and I pretty could be wrong on this, but I think huh? I'd seen uh, oh, Reed trying to do that earlier. Shot. Maybe he just found it was too difficult. And so, ah, saw there such with a good sweeper. Yeah, true yeah. enough. Certainly saw there with Mike. Like, you know, yeah, lost a lot of sweeping area by the time he was able to get back to that stone. So Derek having, <laughs> to say, the okay, choreography okay. out here is really quite you interesting know. with these two folks. You can yeah. see the brooms up there in the top right-hand side. Whoa. The two of them both Whoa. have to do it. You'd think Whoa. the gentlemanly thing to do would be to stand there with the other guy's broom just and just hand, hand it, it to him. Just like in the marathon <laughs> races sure. where here's your water glass. Whoa. Whoa. So some very fine pinpoint draws yeah. here. Water. The best draw would be just well, the uh, yellows are in outstanding position yeah. now. Well, I could probably, like the thing is, this is going to spring into here. Yeah, The best shot would be just a thin ticket. How much do you have of that? I can't see here. Lots, lots. Can you try it? I mean, I could do this too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's try the first call. I think you just want to hit it as thin as you can. The other option is to close it, but it's going to settle in this pocket. Yeah. But at least I might have an angle to get at it the next one. Like if I could nose okay. and stay. Try that. Like, just the half. Okay. So I think he settled on trying to get close to the nose. The issue that, that Mike's got here, and you heard him talk about it, you play the nose and this yellow comes across and, and sits in a pocket of the yeah, reds, just, it'll just make it through. even tougher to remove. His first thought wasn't a bad one either. You just Lamar. play a thin tick, you're going to lose the shooter, but you Lamar. release the back yellow stone and then you could play it again to get this top one out. At least you wouldn't move it into the pocket. I was just chuckling over the fact that here's a skip who's not used to getting his own rocks out of the corner. And <laughs> had to figure out what color he was throwing. Mine's good. Ha! Room. Room. Yep. Room, 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 room. room. Get, get as tight as you can. Whoa, easy to throw then. Easy to throw, easy to throw. Okay. Uh, I just have a straight heavy. It's not bad. And that, that was what he was worried about. Oh, God, actually, didn't really get the angle he was looking for. He was hoping to leave the red yeah, on an angle where he could raise it onto the yellow. The red rolled a little too far, and I could get rid of three of that yellow so far into the pocket, it'll be hard like to remove. Same. Even this is good. Okay, I a little like jiggle. That. Actually, if I could ever tap this an inch or two, it's pretty good. Okay. Which clock is ours? I guess the first clock. So Derek and Sherry have played quite a bit of mixed doubles yeah. together. They've been in a couple of bond spiels earlier this year. Made a semi-final in, uh, I okay. believe it was Portage. Didn't do a whole lot there, eh? Not uh, doing much there. Wow, well, I was heavy. No, I know, but still, it's not moving like yesterday. No, I was getting straighter. Derek as the second man for Ree Carruthers. So again, being a Manitoba, Winnipeg-based team, very familiar with all the McEwen group. Whoa. Whoa. Try to come off the road. Off the red! Off the red! Set a curl! Off the red! Yep! Yep! Hard! Hard! Really hard! Oh, we lost everything. We're trying, I was trying to come off the red. Okay. I can probably only, I'm gonna jam I one I of these. It, I think yeah. it's pretty good, Derek. Like I can't hit it yeah, thin enough to get it. Red. That's all we got, though. Yeah. Try to stay on top of it. Like just a little high? Yeah, we want to save the shooter for sure. Okay. Can I think I throw a ball? bullet right on the nose. Okay. Well, 
So I if feel Mike's he's got to throwing some a room here. bullet, then this is one of those opportunities where everybody's got to be on guard for flying rocks here. We only have four people out here to <laughs> well, catch rocks. There's liable to be five, I think, flying on this one. It's just a question of how far. Like another one of those expert bullet throwers. Stay right there. Makes the nose hit, does spin it out the top, and actually Holy clears the crap. back one as well. <laughs> I think, <he's> <laughs> think, <laughs> think that, that work? Think that caught even Mike by surprise. How did that spin like that? That was insane. Yeah, that well, now that Sherry cool. has to come up with a huge saver shot. Take a look at the replay here. I think Mike was expecting, and I did too, that he was going to take the back one with it, and it manages to spin across it. And the first one spins all the way up and out. I, I think he was hoping to get it out in the open. I don't think he ever dreamed it would go all the way into the 12 foot to sit fifth. Well, this is a tough spot for, for Justin Samogalski. It almost doesn't matter how well you get this in. Uh, Don's going to have some kind of an angle slash on the other side for probably at least three or four. Well, and Sherry has to get here, so it's not a shot for five. Yep. Yep. This is really curling. has got to get by the guard. Yep. A nice line by the guard. Now it's a question of the way. This looks like it might tap a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. She's got a pretty nice angle on that back I corner. I think eight that's foot. a pretty easy yeah, angle for the want. slash for four anyway. Right you could throw a normal. Don't think she wanted to tap that that far. No, that's for normal sure. Normal control, I would say. Normal. Normal, half or off. Okay, I don't think it'll do anything. No, it'll curl just a bit. Half or off, two thirds is good. So, sort of top of the expression on Derek's face, he's seeing the inevitable here. It did clear that it's guard by quite a bit. Probably interesting here with just playing, uh, they were talking about normal weight. Uh, Mike's still staying in the house. I don't know whether Don will be able to get up to sweep her own rocket at a normal weight. That's yep, just a yep. dirty trick. Hard, call yes hard, hard, and call her off as soon as she catches up. Shot. Makes the run, sticks it. We'll pick Good up shot. four here in the first end and they jump out to the four nothing lead. You're right, it, didn't, it hardly did anything. No. You know, one of the things that we've learned here, I think, through the opening uh, eight draws is that uh, our producer, Kerry Tarasoff, is never going to be able to play mixed doubles for the number of times he's had to ask me, is this last rock? <laughs> Well, in Carrie's defense, we've had players out there not knowing how many rocks they've thrown and, uh, and whose we'll turn it is. Turn. Yeah. Um, for the end, I threw that and draw the button. You know, it, and all kidding It'll aside, it, it is one of those things you have to keep in mind. It's it, you middle? only get to throw five, and right. sometimes yeah, it almost more. looks like teams are forgetting that middle. you know you're running out of rocks almost as soon as you start, and uh, they're still playing setup shots. Because it, it, I guess part of it in your mind, you're thinking, well, right this is only here? our second stone at the yeah. end. We can play a setup shot. Well, yeah, but you've only got three left. At some point in time, you need to be able to, you still need to have time left to do something with the rocks you're setting up. So That's right, because in four-person team curling, a lot of teams bail on the second, second rock. Some will wait for the thirds first, but as I said, you've, you're already there in that part of the rotation. So a different mindset here, and that's how we see these ends build up and then you get a fabulous shot like what oh, Mike just did it. and you get about a six point swing oh, in, I a uh, in a heartbeat. Can you get it to the button? Well from what we've seen of the yep. scoreboards yeah, go, 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 go. so you far this one. weekend go, 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 go. just go. yesterday go. you have to go. think that if there's a team that's going to be four down and not worry about it <laughs> this is the team. They have been through it all. Threes and fours are more common than ones and twos on their board. Lots of room. 
bathroom. Yeah, Sherry just actually threw a very nice draw for that saber shot there in the first end, but I think Derek was yeah. taking a lot of respo responsibility yeah. there for an oversweep on the weight yeah. judgment. They did overcook it a little bit. Of course, they had to make sure they got by the guard. As it turned out, she had a few inches coming by, but the way the curl has been on these, this sh these sheets when it starts to curl, you sure don't want to leave it and rub that guard. Then it's five. Top eight. Yeah. Sherry just answered with a, another very nice draw. Mine's good. Room. And interesting to watch how they have Green's to good. the pre-plan by the shot. He actually good. left his sweeping room light. on the center line, right in the middle of the sheet, okay. because he knew he was coming wide Let's with throw. that one. Yeah. No, line's good, line's good, line's gonna be good. Does not need to curl. A little extra Just choreography required when you're throwing with a, a throwing cool. device. Well, they're very fortunate that being in a curling club, they're allowed to leave equipment on the ice. I know at uh, one world championship <laughs> three or four years ago, players with throwing devices could not leave them on the ice. Mind you, the ice was set up that you had carpeted area between each sheet, so you had to put your implement on the carpet. So you had to get over to the side, put down your stabilizer, and then pick up your broom. So it just sort of goes to show that if you're comfortable in mixed doubles, it certainly helps if you can throw with the same broom you're going to sweep with. Because there are lots of competitions I mean, right you play got, and you're not allowed to even leave grippers on the ice or gloves, let yeah. alone your throwing brooms. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say from my own experience not playing this, and I'm one that has for a lot of years thrown with, uh, it's actually a, the remnants of an old push broom, but uh, swept, uh, thrown with it, don't sweep with it anymore. And, and uh, I had to redesign something else so that I could throw with a broom that I could jump up and sweep with to play in it last year. Now, as, as it turned out, yeah, I really like the, the new eight. design, so I'm using it all the time, but... I think we need more ice, though. These two gentlemen, both pretty happy throwing with a corn yeah, broom. Or, you know, it's hard to call, I, I agree with you, it's hard to call what Mike's got there, a corn broom. It's, you know, it's definitely the original handle. <laughs> it's quite the work of art. There's not much else left. I hear you. No, no. Yeah, go, 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 go. She was saying, whoa, Mike. Ah, shoot. I'm surprised we haven't heard more of that from the players again. I'm very familiar with it. Steel building, and it's just something in the way that the sound echoes out there. It can be very hard for them to hear the sweep calls on their own sheet. There's some echo. Sometimes you think it's coming from a couple of sheets over. It actually is your skip or the reverse holds true. Sometimes there's a call coming that you react to and it's actually from two or three sheets over. I thought it was really tight, so. No. Maybe the fact that there's a few fewer players out there, we haven't heard as many problems with it as I thought we might. Well, usually you don't have two people screaming after a rock, just one. Because you're right, we've played in this building before too where you can't hear half a sheet in front of you. Just the way I it all echoes. That's with women's curling, and you get a skip and a third, both this. shrieking away, and there is no hope. Like right now, these and yeah. well, I'm glad you're the one that said that because I can get in all kinds of trouble. trouble. If I'm say the one that. saying it. No, let's play that then. Nose. Sure. Try to keep these frozen together. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh. I know that's why. Commented on Aaron Porter yesterday uh, playing with Corey Shue. Yeah. I really admired how she just had such a nice, calm approach to her line calls. It was refreshing, quite frankly. Mike and Don pretty happy with the setup as it is right now, but uh, Mike going to play to try to jiggle something, release that back yellow one, and, and still might have a chance at some point in the end to get that shot rock off the button. Jerry and Derek down four would love to generate uh, extra points here, but that's going to be real tough the way yes. things are set up right yes. now. Yes! Hard! Hard! Right on the nose. 
pretty good. Gets the hit, leaves the Reds well. in line, and definitely looks like they're still angled to make that yellow go away. Certainly has to come across this one. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah. That's what we were thinking. Looking to get rid of two reds here. Line Don't think he can get the third one. He wants to keep the shooter in play. That yellow in the middle is going to spring somewhere. I guess he's probably hoping it stays in play. Uh, but it will spring out. Don't know that they had much choice. So that, okay. that yellow was sure. going to end no up gone it's anyway. Uh, you don't want to set up a triple. No. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Out turn, uh, you like that control? Yeah. Okay. There, Carrie can play with Dawn. She doesn't remember who's got <laughs> that it's last stone either. And there's a long line of people. Rachel and Mark were having those same conversations in our first game this morning. She can just get the nose hit here. It's with the nothing really biting. The, well, I guess one nibbling the forefoot. It's still going to be very tough for Sherry just just to to score here. No good path in. Doesn't need the double. Just needs to stay right there and not leave a triple. I guess. Whoa! 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 Definitely whoa, doesn't want to roll very far. He might whoa, whoa, whoa. leave a you double for two. Nope. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a tough one. And we'll roll too far. Uh, Doubles there. You heard Mike say it. It is tough. It's thin. Right. Like two, yeah. eh? Thin. But yeah. when you're down four nothing. Kind of weight you like. Normal. Sort of have to okay. go for it you here. You got to hit pretty thin, eh? So you're trying yeah, to hit it like right. out here. Okay. So we just have to cross the center. Okay. So normal. Yeah. It's not a necessarily a big weight double that's required. It's just the point on the rock here yeah. that just coming into it. Derek making it look there like he was going to hold the broom for it, but I think they were just getting it in their own minds where that uh, imaginary broom, I guess, so to speak, is, is going to be. And then he's coming down to get in position to sweep. Game, you know, different from the men's game, you know, opening up the broom there, that six to eight inches for Sherry to have a target, as compared to, you know, putting the broom right where they need to hit it, straightening it up, allows Sherry to bring her weight down just a little bit and have a nice controlled throw. Well, six to eight inches of ice here with, with what they're throwing is not far off where they need to hit it. This looked like she might have been a little tight of what they had in mind for a broom. Derek on this outside corner as hard as can go. A little too thick on the first one. It'll roll across the second. Makes contact with it. We'll get it out the back, but uh, shooter rolls out of play, and it'll be just a single point. Well, good sweeping by Derek to at least salvage the single point. That wasn't far from rolling right over top and giving the steal. Good yeah. By the same token, and not far off yeah, making it either. You wouldn't have had That's to right. hit it much thinner and, and would have stuck right there. And those were the encouraging uh, words that Derek just gave to Sherry, you know. They weren't far off from making that shot. No, if you make contact with the second stone, you know you didn't miss it by much. Yeah. I'll throw a bit less. Maybe I won't say anything, we'll have to do Mikey! That's, that's actually not the way it works, Derek. If uh, Mike's got the choice, he could have elected to throw first. So if he puts him in the wrong spot, he'd, he'd have to throw first. So it's top four. Okay. Yeah, the question for Derek is, hey, do you really want us to have Hammer again? Because as we'd said, that's one of the intricacies here of the mixed double rules is when you score, that provides you with the decision to have hammer or to give up hammer. With the rule modifications, we've talked about this a little bit before, and with this initial rock placement in the back forefoot rather than back button, it's not as advantageous anymore to, main, uh, to throw that very first stone. Whereas before, teams were opting sometimes to have that first stone so that they could get frozen to the button. Yeah, I like this out. Now it takes two rocks to get to the button frozen. 
Sherry looking to make a come around on the out turn there and came up well short. I think they were discussing it beforehand and she was talking about throwing a little less weight maybe because she was heavy on one earlier. But uh, that's a little too much weight to pull back. It does leave her two guards. If you're worried about stealing. Lights good. Room. Two the guards is never bad. Good. Some Perfect. serious pressure here Queen. coming in top four foot. Queen. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't want to be behind the T line on this Art. at all. Some Art. shots that we've seen Don oh. McEwen make oh, 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 2,000 right, right. times. No, 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 no. A no. little deep. Ah. ah, good throw. Good try. Shoot. Okay. That one we haven't seen too very often. No, she won't be they happy make a with beauty. that one. Don, if they make a beauty, just double rip the front. talking about double ripping the guard if if they make a beauty I, I almost think you have to double rip the guard no matter what they make you got a staggered guard and a rock behind the pin that's not a good setup if you've got last yes. rock yes. Hard. Really hard. Really hard. this one made a big move hard. Really hard. Really hard. Really well hard. out there Keep going. Keep and we'll just rub the guard and again Stay. probably need a little bit more weight and what about nose that certainly that? demonstrates the weight sensitivity of this of this ice. It will give you every shot, but you have top. to match your weight with nose that. Shot. Did leave that stone in a spot where it could be a little bit dangerous, and that's the one Mike wants to get rid of. the hit rolls the shooter okay. just under cover okay not the best but sorry i had a little tight fine i needed more ice for you okay, yeah, mike had beauty, been looking for the nose hit when he means by not the best and you can see it from that angle we've now got it's essentially three staggered guards you're one freeze away from being in all kinds of trouble if you're the McEwens. that's the thing with only five yeah. stones to deliver in an end yeah. you get this freeze in there you're already yeah. low enough on rocks you might not have enough time to get to this shot it's stone good. Derek and Sherry having a little trouble finding the weight Great here work. in this One, third end. They've been short on three consecutive Double. draws, but again, he's got a really nice line on that one. What do you want to or do? We could guard. That's a dangerous stone for like the Yeah. Well, okay, there are two guard. ways to get to this back button also. I mean, they've still got the intern wide open. You like this? I guess. <laughs> I like this. I take that as a no. Mike looking at the guard, it'll force Derek to throw the, the intern. The other option, and he talked about it earlier, about throwing the I'm double okay. peel. He could throw the double peel now, and then you'd have I'm the good. short run on the red into the yellow. It's as long as an overcurl. How's the weight? There's room. It's tight, it's tight. Room. It's Looks very tight. tight. Just let it die. Oh, my. Are you crazy to this? Yeah. No, 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 just keep this angle like that. Okay. Well, that's, wow. I, I find that Sorry. interesting. Derek and Sherry have been light on three straight attempts. <laughs> yeah. Mike trying to throw a guard comes right in and touches yeah, that stone. That one. Yeah. Try to do this. Well, I think with the luxury of having two sweepers, if you're really, really light, Mike just trying to be a little precise and a little too precise, just making sure he was there. Well, I guess But there could be two does. different paths out there, too, that we've heard them talk about that in the previous game on this sheet, where if you got out what? wide, it seemed to run faster than if, you, if your broom was just on the inside the edge of the eight foot. Two different speeds out there. Technically, yeah. I guess Mike does cover the oh. outside corner of that Yellowstone. Oh. I don't know if you can oh. still hit this yellow on the angle yeah. that you need yeah. to drive it onto the stone on the button. Oh. You're going to give it a try. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, and lost well, they the weren't playing that. They were just trying to, to move I mean, the red right roll in front state, leave it on the same angle. And we'd still be lying one. Is it dumb to come in over here? I think you try to make it. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Oh, it's me. Oh, two, yeah. Sorry. I mean, if I'm short, so that's fine. Well, yeah. be deep. So looking to choke off the other way in here to this button area. You have to be a little careful with this. If you have to happen to sit it right beside the yellow, they could make an attempt to just chisel the yellow sideways into the stone that's about to be delivered, and then it should spin back after that. You'd have to be very unlucky, Mine's I think, good. to Mike to just leave it in that exact wrong Mine's spot. Good. Little bit, little bit, yep, yes! Hard line! How's the weight? It's light! Hard line, go, go, go! Can go, we go. get it by? We're by! No, you have to go for mine! Hard! 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 Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Can you tap it? <sighs> Sorry, I just okay. was so scared of being heavy. Chokes off the draw on that side. Oh, too. Good line, too. You know, and we've talked about all the other things that you've got to be aware of on, on uh, in this format. But uh, one added little thing that you have to be aware of if you happen to be playing on the sheet next to Mike is that there could yeah. be a broom come across. He uh, yeah. like had a little too much weight when he was way? discarding the uh, throwing broom there. It ended up on the next sheet, but uh, they weren't throwing down that side at the time. But he didn't bother anybody. Well, this is a crucial shot, or else an eight and a or seven to one deficit could be really difficult to come back from. Well, you, you know, it's one yeah, thing to look at it from the over. If you look yeah, at the view good. coming into it, she can't see very much of the stone that she's trying to move. Know if she could see enough of it to get it for shot. Certainly, I think can get it for second shot. Have to be a little worried about where the shooter ends up though too. Yeah. You don't want to leave a double for three. Not sure what else she she might have though. Three attempted draws earlier in the end that came up short. If they get any one of those down to the face, they're in, in real good position. Just line up. Yep. Hard. Really hard. Really hard. And it just over curls, makes contact with the higher stone. Won't, uh, perfect weight. Get anything yes. into the four foot. Uh, so it's two already. Just over curled like a touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chances of drive better. Think so? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't mind that. It's pretty okay. nice here, this spot, right? Yeah, where'd you get me for ice? Uh, a little bit more than half. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a hair less. Of course, Mike, Mike, Mike being a skip, looked up. at he could hit and roll. <laughs> Don being a lead, well, to play the draw. <laughs> The only thing about this draw, she's got to go really wide to get around the stone at the top of the eight foot. And we have seen teams have a little trouble with that. As you say, it sometimes this is a little bit faster. This is still fairly early in the game. There haven't been any rocks out quite this wide. It could be heavier out here yet. Still a very nice position for Dawn to be in already yeah. up. Line only. Heavy, up 4-1, City 2. No shortage of curl there, but just a little bit short on the weight. Still, it will be a two two point yeah, score for the McEwen me. team, and they pick up yeah. with a, a six to one lead at this point in time. Sherry Just, Derek Samogalski, again, as we said, threes and fours have been more common on their boards than one and ones and twos. So 
If there's a team out here that can oh, find a way to generate offense, that's the that's the team. What turn do you want? Uh, I said, give me the end turn. Insert? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking we had lost Mike, uh, the mic feed for Mike McEwen, and uh, getting a little warm out there. He had just ditched the jacket, had to take the mic off for a second, so just readjusting there. Well, and that it's not one thing that we've mentioned before where it's very nice of the curlers to cooperate, to wear the microphones. It's certainly a big part of the curling game when we feel yeah. like we're on the ice with them. Well, I think they all understand that. And it's, you know, it's one of the nice things about the sport. It's, there's no other sport where you actually get to hear all of the thought processes that go into any given call. And it's just such a great way, like, as you had mentioned. Mark Nichols was line. up earlier this morning to make sure he had the correct Hard website line. address so that his friends Hard. and family back home could Where? watch the game today. Yeah. So okay. lots of Mike reasons it. to have the mics Let's on the players oh, and webcasting the games That's far and wide. On the other hand, every Three. once in a while, okay, they're Thankful for our, some yeah. of our mic cool. problems. Cool. Sherry just okay. we've been watching a game earlier and we okay. actually were yeah. having trouble yeah. with the mic that she was wearing that particular time. And if you remember, if you were watching yesterday, she took a nasty spill on one, uh, came down pretty hard on a rock. She texted me right after the game. Sherry okay. used to play with me, so she knows me quite well, and texted me right after the game to see if she could find the broadcast. <laughs> I couldn't see why she'd want to see the fall. and. She was worried because she said she swore when she <laughs> went down, <laughs> but her mic had cut out at the time, so... Uh, so what we've commented on before is, you know, it's fine to bump this rock around. You still okay, certainly really need to have position in front. I would have liked to have had that on tape. I, I had a chance to coach Sherry last year and curl with her, and... Uh, she's so soft-spoken, I can't imagine her swearing. I'd like to have a <laughs> recording of that. <laughs> with the turn that they know. Staying with the interior. He wants to get across the face on this. Mine's a bit tight. Doesn't necessarily need to move it yep. here, but he, he needs to get a good angle. Yeah. Really hard. I just wonder if really it didn't hard. tighten up the room a little too much, trying really to make sure to get across. Line. He's got to get by the guard. We're on the guard. Wow. Okay. Maybe a little light yeah, as well. My nose is with all these yellows go. I'm finding it here a little bit tight. I'm not sure this one be, would. So. Is that really cool? Yeah, I, f I found. Like we can try to come through the hole and just got, like, this to a freeze. Yeah, it got there. We could just, if we guard, he's going to try to no, go like here. Guard. Let's, let's try it. Let's tap try it. it. Yeah. Tap for a freeze? You want the. Well, Mike's first instinct was to try to make the yellows go away, but uh, just the way the angle sits, he's not sure the back one would would go. It might not make contact with it. It might go over the top. So going to look to tap his yeah, stone to the freeze. He's got to come through the port. Good. This is not an easy shot. You're almost going to have to throw back line to hack to hold the line after you get through the hole. Wait's good. Room. Little light. Room. Room. We've Mine's seen this yep. spot stay yep. very straight yep. even on hit weight. Well, he's made the Where port. The nose? Yep. We're, we're high siding a little yeah. bit. Low That's side. okay. There, it finally so curled. Fine. Nicely good. done. And just broke oh, the freeze good on call. the back enough that I think that yellow goes by and <laughs> you might be able to double the yellows out right now. Yeah, they're looking very vulnerable. Yeah. That creates a headache for yeah. Sherry oh, and Derek. Angles worked out money. 
everything like is clear now mm -hmm. pretty much. And this, this is never a good sign. You got to or, Derek yeah, and Sherry like, both looking at this, back, and yeah. not a lot to say because you're in all kinds of trouble here again. Mike certainly summed it up the best when he said, "All oh, those angles worked out like money." They've certainly been winning the positioning battle out here more often than not, and well, just goes to show what even a couple inches either way. Eric looking at running something back, I think. It's a bit, it's oh, no, he's just playing the port. Whoa, Sherry, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got just a couple feet more weight than what uh, Mike did. Still on the outside guard, just gets by. Manages to tap that red through, but uh, I'm not sure if you gain a lot with that. I think he would have liked to at least change the angles on those other stones. I mean, he might run this, but... Throw it in. Mike looking at the intern draw. Not sure if he's playing this as a come around or just playing the guard in that port? I'd certainly probably like to take away any possible yellow run-in that the Jess and the Galski duo might possibly try if they get that desperate because okay. things I'm are not lining no. up well for them at all right now. He's got to touch center. Yeah. There's I'm almost to the yellow. Uh, it's, it's a guard, straight guard they're playing. It's a small, small slide off. Let it, let it do its thing. That's fine. Okay. That's good. Fills the port. <laughs> I don't even know. I see his brooms everywhere, yeah. so they don't blame. Like right <laughs> well. Try this. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Distraction. Hi. <laughs> Two teams having a little chuckle there. Derek's broom was actually still in the way when Mike was throwing. So he had to, oh, so to move it first, pick up his own. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether they're looking for the run in here or looking to get the skinny big, pe big peel here. He was talking about running the yellow in. Uh, not sure the peel at this time helps oh, him. And, and that middle red is probably going to spin, spin straight right back. Middle, but so we could draw he's throwing our big our weight. Uh, well, made it just about perfect. Drives the red out of the forefoot, and uh, they now sit shot rock. And it is buried. Uh, I think you could play this. Yeah. Instead of throwing that little hard read, you sit in two. <laughs> it's gradual out here. Yeah. You know it's fast. Yeah. Draw here. I think so. You could guard this, too. Make them play the draw for two. One more no, look at this. Like hey, we could come right here too. Yeah. This is what they were playing all the way. You just like never know where you're going to stay. Sherry's on the other side, and I know this this path is good. Yeah, so I, I know the Lose a measure on you those rocks. You can kick well. yourself for. You have to go wider. Yeah. Not sweeping yeah. that one. We know this path. Still, that's the most positive position we've right seen Derek and Sherry in. Like the angle's good for an hour there. And this is good. I threw my draw the button in this area. It's probably right here. But again, where one Mike McEwen shot turned around an advantageous position, uh, all of a sudden they're sitting four. Derek with one shot here has created about a four point swing. Well, and no guarantee that it won't come out being three yet either, so. Dawn has to make a, a good one here and be a little bit careful about where she places this. Well, it's the first time she hasn't. But she's had to look at some serious yellow. Yep! Hard! Really hard! Uh, just a guard! Hard! Whoa! Whoa! Just a guard. Yep! Yep! Go, go, 
like go, go, looking go, go. to chip go, off because if she overcurls the guard, to she'll guard leave a shot for three. Red. It's a little bounce, but uh, still like most of that red uh, available. Been fine out there. Certainly with quiet reach, you can get to the house. Where do you like points? City. I should have came and helped Smee, but I could have saved that for line. Yeah. Might be a little sticky out here, but... Like get to the nose, you, you only need to move at six inches. What kind of weight do you want to throw? Pack line. Sure, you don't have to overthrow this, right? No. I think very right similar here? to yeah. the okay. weight that she threw in the third and should work okay. here quite nicely. So once again, it looks like the uh, the system that they're using. Derek holds the broom as though Sherry's going down to throw it. And she does it uh, the same as she would if she was skipping. She's watching that line going back. As soon as she's comfortable with it, she turns around, heads to the hacks, and that's when Derek leaves the house, but gives her, I guess that's the visual she likes. She likes to see that broom as she's going back towards the hacks. Might move a little bit out here, so I'll yeah. stay I'm just thinking... Like hack edge of eight. Edge of eight? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. For back line. For back line. Touch okay. more for you okay. would be close, but I like that. Just okay. outside. Ed edge of eight's good, I would say. So a really big shot here to get this team back into the game. Okay, heavy. Heavy. Oh. Heavy. Really whoa, heavy. Whoa, whoa. Really heavy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. It's got to curl. Gotta curl off! Gotta curl off! Gotta curl! She stick and it for the three up. and Curls it, it does. Contact, it does hang what on a to the big shot. Well done, Sherry Just. Good sweeping, Picks up. Derek. That was a good throw. It was Look at that, that another like three ender yeah. <laughs> in a Just Samagelski game. Enough, so Pulls them with, to within so six to four shot. as they so go yeah. into the break. Yeah, it stayed a little straighter. Two months premature and a heart condition. One might say I was born to overcome challenges. I searched for my place in this world and I found it here. This pebbled ice is where I battle now. I have my sights set on the Olympics and I will push hard to get there. Sitting there eating crisps. They're chips. They're crisps, and that's a curling tuny, and you're missing it. I'm watching it. You should be there with your kin, feeling the cold of the ice, hearing the roar of the game, and drinking the cold, cold barley nectar. You mean beer. Barley nectar. Now get off your duff and live it live. Curling Canada is home to the most celebrated series of curling championships the world has to offer. You've got to live it live. Before there was ice, there was our hallway at home. I was always the shy, quiet kid who loved math. But when I saw math come alive in the geometry of the game, I feel my passion and my voice. It's a game of precision, a game of inches. It's the equation that now defines who I am. Welcome back, everyone. Well, our game is in the fourth end break. We'll quickly give you an update on the scores on all these games here in this draw. There were six teams coming into this draw that were all at 3-0 and and playing. One of those teams, Joanne Courtney, Reed Carruthers, trailing 2014 champions, Wayne and Kim Tuck. It's 4-1 to as they play the fourth end there. Two more of the undefeated teams, Marlies Kasner and Dustin Kaltoff, Take a 3-1 lead into the break against Emma Miskew and Ryan Fry. On sheet three, Danielle Inglis, Mike Anderson trailing going into the break. Aaron Porter and Corey Shu with a 3-2 lead there. The mother and son duo, Dondalee Dice and Ryan Dice with a 6-3 lead over Lisa Menard and Ray Baker. Skipping over to sheet six. Uh, last year's champions coming in at 3-0, Kaylin Park and Charlie Thomas with a 3-2 lead as they play the fourth against another of those 3-0 teams, Nancy Martin, Callan Schneider. Father-daughter, Emily and Robert Desjardins 
with a 4-3 lead into the break. Just the one end on the board for them, but they counted a big four-ender in the third, and they lead Julia Hunter and Alex Robichaud, Team New Brunswick. And Michelle Kruk and Jason Gunlison tied with Ashley Iwazik and Mark Anderson. That game three all as they also in the break. Pretty good pace of play in all of the games here. Just about everybody into the break, and a couple of them already go into the fifth end. Sure, I'm good. Man. Just and as we're just getting set to resume. This one started up. Uh, she Day, Joanne Courtney, Reek Ruthers gave up a single point to Kim and Wayne Tuck, and the Tucks now take a 5 1 lead into their fifth end. Take, uh, take my five. So 25? Yeah. We're not yellow. Okay. Lions are really good. Sounds like the Mikuans have uh, a bit of concerns about one stone, so they're switching them around. There's lots of room. All the room. Oh, we just lots saw Charlie Thomas take a slip and slide, wipe out halfway down the ice. But he got up, continued sweeping, so everything looks all right. That's the uh, perhaps up, the biggest thing about eight, this two-player format, where you typically only have one sweeper, the other one's watching the line. Is that you know when somebody right, takes a spill, it. there's nobody to sweep okay. them out of the way like you're supposed to. <laughs> That's right, and especially with these curlers out here on sliders, no grippers. There's no footing once once you start going down. There's no place to go but down. Charlie sort of got up, had a bit of a smirk, and we've got a full house here at the New Tana Curling Club, so. I think he felt he had all eyes Whoa. on him for not the right Whoa. reasons. To be honest, I'm surprised you don't oh, see a few more spills you see here with, uh, heavy, heavy. with Dawn coming here heavy. on this one. Yeah. On the side oh. that she's trying to sweep heavy, on now, the slider's back actually back. the back yeah. foot. That's a very yeah. uncomfortable yeah. position to sweep from. Get off the button. Let's get I've done it myself okay. a few times as well, but uh, you'd certainly prefer to have the feet the other way around. But when you got to sweep on that side, that's your only choice. So looking to replace that rock onto the top button area there behind the nice center guard. Lines a bit. Yeah. Just line. Whoa. 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 Go heavy. Okay, lots of room. Got a curl. Heavy. It's got a nice wall at the back of the forefoot, but would have liked to have kept this in front of the T-line, I think. Okay, that's fine. We'll tap that back just a little bit. Gives the McEwen's room to come down on top of it. tap? I think we just want a nose tap. Is there a double? No. Not really. No, that won't work. Can I tap it? Yeah, right on the nose. Stay, stay on, on it for sure. Uh, in turn, in turn. Just back, back 12, back eight. It's okay. Yeah, that was good. He makes a good one, I guess you gotta just tap him as well, kind of thing. Yeah. See what happens? Okay. So tightening up the broom oh, position oh, here, as we Mine talked is. about, yeah. once you start throwing that back 12, it will straighten up that. About a foot for curl. Good. Mike's still asking for a little wiggle more though. Wants to make sure he gets to the nose. If he rolls off this at all, it'll leave room for uh, Derek to bring another one in. Whereas if he can sit right on the face here, he's probably got the pin covered. Yep. 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 Hard, hard, hard. Hard, you gotta go. Whoa, whoa. Gets it by the guard, makes that nose tap we talked about it, and does have the pin covered. Call. It's good. Yeah. We had to get as tight as we could, so. Yeah. Derek, I think, will be looking to come down and do more or less the same thing. There's, there's not a lot he can do with that red on the first one. He's got to try to get uh, a rock in a good position here and free up a way to get that red out. Not sure if this team has done any 
Yep. Rocks Mine. switching either. They had a couple of rocks that came up a lot lighter than what they'd expected Mine's in previous ends, but dead, dead, if whoa. they have switched, they haven't whoa. said anything to us. Yep. Yep. Whoa. He's got a nice line here, but I don't know if he's got the weight to move this stone enough. Just his double, but taps it up to the freeze. The pin's still covered. Okay. Okay. Straight peels. Mike now looking to shot. just peel the guard. And this is a kind of a scoreboard dictated yeah. shot. You know that uh, Eric and Sherry can't do a lot with the next one. You want to make sure you have a chance to score. All Derek and Sherry are really going to be able to do is try to free up a way to get that redstone out on the next one. Good. Thanks. Makes the peel, rolls the shooter out. So he'll look to make the same shot one more time, try to push it back a little bit. Yeah, right on the nose! Yeah, I'll throw like three feet more, maybe. Okay. Wants to keep the two yellows right together. Probably on the same angle as the red. He needs to move that back yellow far enough that he can get the red out of the forefoot. Just, just clean. Clean. Ideally, he moves that yes. back yellow back yes. into that back Five. red one in the 12 foot. Really we've hard. seen what Mike can do really. with his big yeah. weight. Really hard, really hard, no, really hard. Lost it. Yeah. Just yeah. over curls a little bit. Right on the nose. Might be okay. The nose, that goes too. Oh, turn. Oh, turn, a hair high is okay. Mike talking about the nose hit to get them all. It might. What he's looking at is. Uh, Yellow onto the yellow right behind it. Those two go flying out the side. The reds might come straight back, and what he's hoping Last. is this yellow that he makes contact first. If it's Last. thin enough on the second yellow, might actually catch the top side of that yellow on the right-hand side of the forefoot. This is one of those ones you were talking about earlier, Susan, where four people isn't enough to catch all the rocks that could go flying here. And the last time he played one of these, it came out even better than he thought was possible. This one's staying out a little Mike. bit on him. Going to be a little thicker on that, but does get them all going. And I'm pretty sure that was going out, but... <laughs> ah, sorry. Sorry, hon. It's okay. This is wide. It's not bad, though. Sorry, hon. It's fine. Just a little wide on you. Yeah, just a little bit. Right Last okay. time he played one of these, it came out even better than he oh, thought here? was possible. Yeah. Staying out a little Mike. bit on them. Gonna be a little thicker on that, but does get them all going. And <laughs> I was wondering how that happened, Don. Sitting there watching that stone ready to uh, sweep and then turn to look over her shoulder to see where something else was going in and missed the stone on the catch. Are you okay with that? It'll be an easy shot. It'll be a draw or a hit. Okay. Speed's still nice here. So ideally, you want to split the center line. Okay. T line weight. Maybe running a little short of time here as Dawn's already at the hog line, ready to throw her follow-up shot here to whatever Sherry Justa is going to give her. Well, one of the things she knows with nothing out in front at all, she's going to have a fairly open shot. I think it's up. Just doesn't know whether she's going to have a chance to score more than one. It depends on how well this freeze is made. And again, for curlers whose lives are all based on routine, this is much more familiar to Dawn throw a stone, stand at the hog line, go back to the hack, have somebody direct the shot. Does so does not want to bump this stone and does. It's going to leave a nose hit for three. That was within a foot of being perfect. Even if she's a little short of it, it it's a little yeah. tougher stone to get out. She actually created yeah. more room by bumping it. So we just probably fight over their way a bit and yeah. back into this game and the yellow on to red would jam on the back yellow so Set up there's a lot of ways a lot of leeway as to how she can make this 
Probably three quarters on either side with this controlled weight, she's probably fine. Yep! Arn! Oh, she did touch that center line early. This is going to curl now. Arn! She just has nice, clean. easy whoa, working whoa, weight, whoa, too. Clean. Whoa, 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 now have a nine to four lead. Actually, <laughs> sauce. I dropped a little bit on you. That's here, here we go. It's another just uh, Samogalski game with uh, through five ends. There's a four and two threes yeah, that's on the board. The one you know, right? Well, just a little bit of an overcurl on Derek's last throw to set up that big shot there for Mike it's to clear the house like and the Sherry just life. a foot. Heavy oh, on her it draw. Oh, overcurl as much as it did. Reasonably oh, open yeah. shot for three. But if I made a good one, it was not bad, but literally it was like the worst that could have happened. Because right if I had hit it right, I could have got all. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, you could have for sure. The one spot I couldn't go, and I put it right in that spot. Yeah. Right, get three. She's really fast. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just not using our swooping very much. No. You know, it, I thought we heard a comment from uh, Mike earlier on about uh, how it's getting a little straighter day, but he's still got the broom in the middle of the 12 foot to make this draw. So they're still looking for five feet. That pick, it turned out to be like, it's gotta go hard. It's, it's really bad. And yeah, I like that on your hand though. I didn't with that uh, five feet ice, it seems like it picked early. A and break. Okay, so it's gonna now come up well short and actually over curl the guard. <laughs> Mike going just to try not to leave an overlap uh, with a big lead. They they don't want to see overlap guards even without last rock. Uh, just it picked early. Yeah. Definitely has last. Hard. Really hard. Sherry and really Derek hard. need to pick up some points. Need to get really a little hard. bit of a break, and uh, that really might be hard. the one that they needed. Now they have to get really by the guard. Hard, really hard, really hard. This one's going sideways, and yeah. it's going to come up light as well. I wonder if maybe that side's uh, just a little bit there. heavier, and that's what Derek's saying now. Well, and if you're the McEwens, you actually might like where that ended up. Uh, that's that yellow-red combination should have the red coming straight back into the button area. It's a shot you could use later on. That's maybe it's a subtle difference, but a difference. Mike McEwen on Dons when it picked, swept that right to the more. end, tried to avoid the the lineup. Line Derek gave up on that stone, and in an, in the end, Rim. they left that uh, guard so that the two were lined whoa, up into the button whoa. area, and that might cost them later whoa, on. Whoa, 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 Just whoa. get it square. No, it's over curl. It's over curling your hair, actually. Good, you threw a ball on that, eh? Huh? Is that hard? I did. I saw everything else yeah. got white, so I didn't want to be light. Yeah. You heard Mike talking. He went to school and everybody else's throw through that harder. We'll see if Derek yeah. was paying attention That's as well. Gain no reference to yeah. stopwatches out there. Oh, They're eyeballing everything. They're communicating. One of those things when you're, uh, you don't have anybody there to, to click the stopwatch. Yeah. Well, they lost the line on that one. And again, it, it was definitely light. That's that it did change the angle I mean, of those top ones a little bit. Pick this off. That is that two yeah. Did you just guard this? Yeah. But still, there is an opportunity. You could try and come through the hole. I'll just If you were though. timing, draw a weight. Put it right here. On mics to see what's going on out there. But yeah, it's you could time the opposition stones. For sure. And clearly, it's tightened up six feet anyways in that spot. And... So often we see such an over-dependence uh, on stopwatches, but here I think this builds a case for finding out about changing ice conditions. So you say there aren't four people on your team to, oh, three God. others to consult with that, and a game is going along so quickly here that perhaps you do need a little I'm bit good. of second opinion that the watch could provide. Hold it, hold it a little bit. Keep it out there a little bit. Keep it out there if you can. 
Keep it out there if you can. Ah, uh, it's just diving. Can just we let it dive rub that? Can you... Hard, hard, hard. Tip it, tip it. Go, 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 Okay. Uh, just rubs the red a little further. It does bad. plug the hole, Lots but the uh, yellow still. tap is still there. And well, just thinking if I make it, unfortunately. It's very similar position, right just in a little tighter than the shot yeah, Derek had back in the fourth end to set well, up the three under. Just the I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking that. Is there any way we could? Derek and Sherry looking at maybe playing the yellow-red combination just to kill everything out of the rings. It's, the, the problem with coming in is that if they make anything good, it's it's there for the McEwens to play. Let's try this yellow. Do I have two more? Let's try this yellow with, like, bumper. You want to come sweep? You don't want to try this one? No. No? Okay. Let's run the yellow in first. Play like a uh, hack. Okay. Back line hack. Okay. Yeah, bumper. So saving that yellow yeah, corner yeah. guard in case they need that later. Oh, no, I think that's the one he's tapping yeah. in now. If I'm wide and I split the yellow in. I thought he was the ring, right? tapping Moving the yellow back. in. So just hack. Tapping the yellow one in to the okay. button area. Okay, so but uh, playing it with a little more weight, he's not going to play it as a, a tap and draw. Wants to break okay. up what's okay. there. Of course, I think, I wonder if part of that doesn't have to do with the fact that I know that yellow red comes pretty much straight back. Hard, 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 hard. He's got to stay on the outside of this a little bit no, or it'll just no, go no. by everything and that's what's happened. He's overcurled that. We'll just drive it through the house. And now those overlap, that, that uh, yellow is overlapped a little bit under yeah. the red. I don't know if you can hit enough of it to get it to the button now. Just a little tight on you. Yeah, good try. I have to miss it the other way because if I miss it wide, at least it ticks in the rings, right? Yeah. Sweep it early if you can. Sweep it early if you can. The spinner. Keep going if you can. The spinner. Okay, well then. Still going to overcurl. Oh, that's let good. It die, let it die, let it die, let it die. Stop. Just looking to guard Stop. the yellow tap back. And okay. You heard Mike say, even with big spin, he almost nice overcurled, but does yeah. hold nice line on that. Uh, you're going to have this outturn draw. No choice now. Derek uh, going to run back that middle one, try to clear the red off the button. I suppose if he gets a little bit of drag and hits just absolutely perfect, might be able to pick it over the top of that yellow stone at the back. That just was like the that. Shot I thought he was trying on his first one, where he did end up playing, attempting the corner angle. Well, it hits it perfect, and uh, the, same piece is good. the bonus is that he like picked it clean over the top of the yellow, so still a chance to steal. Button! Button! Oh, pardon me, they've got last rock, still a chance for two. Ewins might have a chance for steal if uh, Don can put a good one in here, though. See what oh, they think wide. about draw weight on room. this side, if it's the same How's as what line? they're expecting. Room, curl? room, room. Room. Weight's there. Weight's not. Room, room. Better, Lots of room better. by the guard, but it is really curling now. Go, go, go. Oh, really nicely done. Brings that perfect. the top corner of the button. Might Shot just done. leave the angle raise. Is there anything with the three no, she doesn't really seven? have no. the angle raise. It's not no. there. There's not enough room Actually, there to get around where Don put Can that. Rubs off the four? Does does that like double that? run touch the yeah, red and come else. straight back? No. Throw it hard. Okay. You get a couple ways to get lucky. You might if it if it hits it thin enough, yeah. or if it hits it thick, it can touch this. Okay. It's close. Just throw yeah. it hard, and you never know. Like there is the one too. No, there's or it's fair. It's over it. Okay, you can't see it. Okay. Just throw it hard, hit this. Okay. I think it's gonna hit it too fat, but you got nothing else. It's Might close. As well try it. You gotta hit it as close as you can to this side. Oh, okay. This side, because right you want this rock to drag more this way, right? So right here, it's good. Yeah, peel like right here. Okay. Okay, so the way it's lined up, then it, Derek's pretty sure it's definitely hitting the red. He's worried it might even hit it too thick. 
So know, she's going to try to hit it on the left side as we look close, at it here. I, like, Drag just a little bit to, to just rub I, that I red. That's all she really needs, wrong. enough to redirect it straight back. Close. I think like checking quickly, in with quickly the checked with the opposition, opposition. thing to see whether or not he thinks it's there. <laughs> just, the nose, just let me know if I should sweep Mike. And he told him really too. He says it's close. Okay. Wait. Well, game saver shot here. Looking to cross the center line a little bit, throwing the out turn, and with that kind of weight and that kind of spin didn't and do it, but I think is. Garrett called it wrong. Oh, that came straight back, and what a bad break, actually, to so come that straight back and still clip the other yellow stone. Right? Does get her single point, though. Yeah. Good shot, nice shot. Like, not much. No. Because you hit it just high side nose. When I was looking from here, but down in the hack, like, the rocks weren't like. Probably nose might have. Maybe really got cool. it. Yeah. I inside bit, nose. That's a bit inside out on that, so just kind of okay. kept floating out. Inside edge nose. It's that kind of shot where both teams are still <laughs> going to be yeah. talking about it yeah. after the game. Uh, yeah. A really good shot and a bit of a bad break in that it just clips the back one. We'll take one more look at it here. Rubs it coming just about straight back, yeah, and yeah. boy, you, you couldn't yeah. have gotten yeah. any more unlucky, I guess, to, to, to be that close to the perfect shot, and it just clips enough of that stone to kick it out, only get their single point. So now with the McEwens holding a 9-5 to five advantage going into the seventh, they're going to use their power play. We've talked about it before, this is almost the defensive reason you just want to Keep everything away from the middle uh, with a four-point lead. As long as you don't give up a steal of two here, you're in pretty good shape. And with nothing in the middle to start, you like your chances uh, of doing that. Yeah, right Certainly there. one point either Odo. way here for the McEwen team will be well, I seen thought he was, as a They success. talked about it, but they're not using it. Well, stay with what you know, and you know you've got Mike's big weight to clean up any potential jam you can get into. Hey, intern. Well, and part of the conversation, but then, uh, forgive me, okay. we're into eight draws, and I'm, my memory is going, but uh, has it, did Derek and Sherry use theirs already? No, I don't believe so. Part of the thought process for the McEwens could be here that if you do give up a steal, you could use it in eight. Lion's really good, lots of room. Got a curl. Okay. Lion's good the whole way. It's got a curl. Wait only. Shot. Shot. Good. Locks the freeze on with the first stone. Good start. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are times when you you might like to keep that in front of the T-line. I'm, I'm a little surprised the teams don't do that more, but when you've got to steal multiple points, you almost have to make the freeze on the first one. You've got to leave yourself room to get in with another one. No, and we have seen a few picks this game, and this looks like another one. I know that uh, Don and Mike have, have switched a couple of stones around. There seemed to be one they were worried no, Sherry, about. No. I'm not sure. Good I don't shot. think Don was 100% hey, hey, happy with that Great slide. Shot. I think turned she was out, a little tight. Turned out really good. Well. It's that's a great option. shot. Yeah, I just that might be the stone good. they were worried about, though. I think that's it was you know, when I they think were talking about switching um, the stones around, it was the two, I think, that they felt was a little funny, and guard. she was going to throw it first. What turn? Yeah. It just jump, like oh, like, what turn do you want? It was like three quarters. One third away down, it was already it's good. Like it went quick. It's good, though. I mean, we're just trying not to. We're just trying to limit this to a steal of one. Essentially, right? Oh, oh. I'm gonna get something here. We're good. Yeah, it's good. Slide a bit. It's about a three. Good. 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 Gotta be 
third-ish. Looking for the double. Peel and but removing yeah. that stone in the 12 foot. Doesn't really need the double, but. Doesn't uh, need it, but. Ah, I'd be scared to be okay. spinning that one back into the four foot. I got it, Dory. Oh, tight. Okay. He was looking for it. Yeah. And yeah, no doubt. even spinning it in, you know. It, it might have curled. broken a freeze, even though there might have been two right yellows sitting there. That it just curled. would have set him up for his next huh? one. Oh, but yeah, a little soft. Question, we don't have the, the clocks right in our camera view, but Sherry's running down to sweep that. Derek's already coming out of the hack, so they may well be a little tight on time. Tighter, but good line. Spin. It's like a quarter. We could play with the out turn. It's probably easier. Yeah. Like peel, peel the center. Don't think uh, Don was on the same page. He's looking at the double, but now it's it's so thin to hit it from the other side. He's gonna play the out turn, try to clip it thin. There we get a look at the clock. Actually, uh, just the McEwens are a little tight for time. Yeah. Dennis Sheeler, one of the officials, one of the people putting in very long shifts here this weekend. Say with six draws, it's a 14-hour day, and they're out there for all of them. And does make the double. Shooter comes across. Boy, would have loved to just clip that one out from behind the yellows, uh, free out an escape route for that. But that might be a little greedy okay. to look for that as well. A little scary. I said it just a tiny bit. I like the throw. Yeah, it's pretty straight there. I like the throw. I didn't think you said it. I thought you just threw it good. If they show me any piece of this side, same, we'll uh, try same shot. Out. Yeah, that's touch good. lighter's okay, but same kind this of area. Yeah, like, that's good. Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> Why didn't mine? A little bit less. Probably about two. Yeah, hard, early, hard, hard early. Hard early. Hard early. Hard early. Hard early. Okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Really curling now, needs to stop to cover that stone. Yeah. It's going to over curl a bit, but I think like the, the side uh, that they've left, it would be very hard to get that yellow out. Huh? I think it'd be heavy here. Pardon? I think it'll be a bit fresh here. It can be heavy. A little fresher? Okay. I think so. Yeah, just light, light hawk. Oh, looks good. So looking to get basically oh, huh? just to the nose of the yellow and uh, move that back red. If he could lock this on the face, he'd have shot rock covering the pin and he'd have a way to get that yellow out. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's nosing. Mine's close, needs to curl a little bit. Weight's perfect. Good. Makes the nose hit, locks his shooter on. Is that okay? Yeah. That was hack ish. Hackish, that was yep. firm hack. Actually worked out really well. He jammed on the one in the back and it got just a, across the nose enough that uh, yeah. the yellow should go through the back without touching anything now. Okay. You gotta try to do this. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, here? I don't know if Sherry can For even you? get shot yeah. rock out of this. Try to hit and roll. This should squeak to here somewhere. So just that. That might be wishful thinking from Derek. I'm not sure that uh, the throne rock isn't going to squirt farther than the redstone. But I don't know what else you play. I mean, you need to steal here. That red's got to move. Normal weight. Okay. We're gonna squeak the guard as tight as we can, basically. Okay. 
Sherry looking whoa, to get this whoa, as whoa, solidly whoa, whoa. as she can. Whoa, Hopefully never. the red goes farther than the shooter. It's going to be fairly thin on that. The uh, red might go out the side. Shot Where's the, the yellow back? stay? There we go. And she got shot shoot. rock out of it. I think you throw a good way here. Normal? Yeah. Good. That may well have been the only way she could get shot rock. Because you hit more of it and this, this just goes off. could be the last shot of this game. Maybe, she may, may run them out of rocks here, <laughs> essentially. And I don't know, dare I say it, but it, it is a lead throwing a hit. It, anything could happen. <laughs> well, when you get a beautiful throw like that, yep. I think you're gonna get the yep. results. On the outside just a bit, does roll, but uh, the gloves come off, it's handshakes. Thanks, Derek. McEwen's Thanks, Derek. pick up the win over Sherry Just, Derek Sel Go Semagalski, Go and I give you they will move to 4-0. Oh. That's right. A lot of games to choose from still on the ice. We'll maybe turn our attention right next door to sheet four. Got some action going on there. In play in the seventh end there. Both teams here looking for their first victory. Donda Lee Dice and Ron Dice from Saskatchewan. Lisa Menard, Ray Baker. I believe you said they were a Manitoba team. Was yep, it Dauphin? From Dauphin? Yep. They were team Manitoba last year. They've got Shot Rock biting the back of the forefoot. They've got uh, another stone at the top, 12 foot. It's probably about sixth right now, but just the way those reds, the are currently situated. I'm not so sure you couldn't clean all of them with one good shot. So, you go said it was Don Lee about to throw, and I think this is their last stone, looking to bring another one in. She's got a lot of room here. Nothing out of the brush yet, too. Might be a little strong. Just Comes that. And rubs off. Three or four inches too heavy. Well, I think it's. Was that one for the shot? I think oh, it stayed for shot. I guess that was the last rock for the end, so I, I think it stayed for shot. So, again, it's fun watching all these combinations in mixed doubles. Donda Lee played for. Lorraine Arguin, or plays for Lorraine Arguin in senior women's play. They lost out this year in women's provincials to Sherry Anderson's team, but the year before when they were there, or two years before, they were second in Canadians, lost to Lois Fowler from Manitoba. Ryan Dice is her son, and Ryan, a competitive curler, has had a prior appearance, played third for Scott Manners for Saskatchewan. Ryan's also he had some really second. interesting university CIS experiences too. He's played with Steve Laycock in some world or international world university games. So very experienced players. Played, played second for Scott on the team that won the, the tankard. Was, uh, Tyler Lang was playing third. And uh, now skipping and Scott Manners playing third in men's play. So they did pick up the single, now have that four point lead coming home. I'm gonna guess from this lineup that the power play must have been used already. So Donda Lee as a senior qualified curler certainly has no Fear about getting up, sweeping your own rocks, has energy to burn. 
And there's no delicate way to talk about seniors' age, but Don DeLee is not necessarily a rookie in that category either. They yeah. played in the Saskatchewan Provincial Playdowns and made it through to the semifinals. They had a very strong showing at the Tartan Curling Club. Nice weight on that freeze attempt, but uh, over curled enough to leave room to bring another one in. And it's still going to be difficult to remove a yellow. And interesting here, rather than just follow it with the same turn, it, granted it did over curl to where it's exposed on this intern side. Lisa's going to try to come down from the intern. Don't know whether she wants to just sit on the face of that or perhaps nudge it enough to, to create a pocket. Well, this is really curling. Of course, Ray sweeping from the side that if you're using that directional sweeping, this should have been making it curl all the way and overcurled the guard. Still, very Sin nice, strong position there. Top the eight foot, play nearly Ray center is line. A skip, and uh, I know Ray a little bit. I, I got to be car a little careful what I say, but watching him sweep there, he's he's not uh, he's not adding to the reputation of skips as sweepers. Let's put it that way. He seems to be perpetuating the stereotype there. Ryan looking just to draw down past that Menard Baker rock into the pocket here. Yeah, wouldn't mind getting into that pocket in the back. And of course, with the four point lead, this is the last stone where they won't be able to throw a hit. That settles in nicely. Settles that one nicely into the face of that yellow, and it's, it's going to be tough to keep that one alive. Right down at the hack, and I think what they've settled on, the, the shot they're looking at is to promote that yellow and maybe jiggle the reds a little bit. Well, we certainly need to get that red, or that, sorry, that yellow back four foot back a little bit. They need some distance here. If they're ever going to remove those two reds. This has got some curling to do. Well, now it's really starting to go. Well, slow rotation, there's barely been handle, yeah. one handle turn there. Might have been just the difference to maybe lose that line they were looking for. Still, he, he gets the roll under and doesn't have great angles yet, but here's the thing, you're coming home needing four, and right now you haven't left anything where the opposition could hit it. That's, that's maybe not, no, it's, it's not terrible. The battle. That's it's right. not terrible, they've got nothing they can hit. Ryan needs to replicate that shot that he just played. Mind you, the other side of this, uh, and again, we talked about it a little bit yesterday. Teams get blinders on. You're four points up. Why don't you rip the guard? That's a good question. But then yeah. right about now, the guard is helping you the way this positioning of well, stones is. You rip the guard, you're two shots away from winning. And another rock in play can only ho help your opposition. Especially there, that's essentially a guard. I think Ray's got a Got to look at the same shot again. Try to promote that yellow into the reds. He'd love to just jiggle that one loose at the back of the forefoot. Well, especially with that little bit slower turn, he certainly has the opportunity to. Yeah. He's going to have to come tight by the guard. The I mean, that, that stone's moved over a little bit. You'd like to get a little close to really close to the nose on the one you just threw. Have it come back, jiggle those reds a little bit. So this looks like back line to right hack. He's 
It's going to definitely be tight by the guard. Oh, he's got an ice line. Actually, it was the increase in weight that probably hurt him more than anything else. Could have gotten away with throwing probably the same weight. Still, he's got four rocks in the rings. The problem is they're running out of chances to, they need two stones to get that uh, red out, so they've got to free it up on the next one. Time Ryan Dice now has one open stone to look at, so a chance to make something go away. You can't count them if they're in the back corner. That's no different than regular curling. Makes the hit. I think they were just playing the single. Might have liked to stay there then, but uh, they wouldn't have minded the double had it gone. So calling a timeout here. The question is on this sheet right now, will it curl enough? You almost have to play a heavy draw, get by your own yellow, make contact with the red, move that yellow back far enough that you might have some kind of a shot with the last one. I think Lisa's looking at touching the yellow, but it, the red doesn't go anywhere on that. I don't know if it makes contact with the yellow behind it or not. Similar ice to what they had on the last shot, so I'm thinking they're throwing that same kind of weight, but uh, still not sure whether they're looking to make contact with the yellow or if they want to get over the top. Lisa was kind of indicating if they could move the yellow onto the red, it would move the one red out sideways a little bit, and I guess they were hoping it would still come, come back a little onto that yellow and break the two. We did see last night uh, coming home, there were two teams down four and, and both actually had possible shots to score their four, so I guess. Well, as you say, they sort of lose focus. Hoping, you know, yeah. There could have been some peels a little earlier on in this Well, end. yeah, for the team that's up, I'm not sure why you're not peeling guards. And it looks like with that tighter line, uh, Ray definitely was trying to come directly to the red one. Had to flirt with the guard to make it, does just rub. and. Uh, don't know if they're even going to make Ryan throw the next rock. They've got no way to get that red out now. No, it looks like they're talking about lunch plans. <laughs> now they're going to go through the process. Of course, Ryan makes this one open stone on the corner of back 12 go away. Uh, they'll be out of rocks. They're on to, yeah, that's their last stone of the end, so it's Don Lee in the hacks. Don Lee from that thriving metropolis of Fox Valley, out on the west central part of Saskatchewan. No doubt with that shot. Makes the hit. And that does run them out of stones, so the mother-son team of Dondalee and Ryan Dice pick up the victory. Just two games left to finish here. We're going to turn our attention really quickly to the battle of undefeated teams on sheet two. This game is featuring Marlies Kasner, Dustin Keltoff, Emma Miskew playing with Ryan Fry. This has been a close battle all day. Marlies and Dustin 
broke open the seventh end with a three ender, but it looks like there's an opportunity here for the team of Miss Q and Fry to possibly come back with three points. Right about now, possibly they yes. are sitting first and third, corner guard up in play. But Shot Rocky is open, and uh, Ryan Fry playing towards his own stones is again another situation where you might have three if you just split the house. So we'll see the house set up here as Ryan breaks this rock back past this high corner. Just, I think you made your situation worse by playing that way. Dustin's looking at the triple. You don't need it. You make the nose hit on the red. How do you ever get rid of both of those yellows? Just pointing there that the hit and roll over. So Dustin and Marlise wearing the green jackets of Saskatchewan. Dustin did win the provincial championship at the Tartan Club, but playing with Sherry Anderson. As we've mentioned yesterday, Sherry faced then a conflict. The timing of this event is the exact same time as senior women's out in Digby, Nova Scotia. Sherry then went on the next week after she won this mixed doubles title to claim the senior women's title, beat uh, Joan McCusker in that final. That left Dustin without a partner for this competition and turned around here in Saskatoon and picked up Marlies Kasner. So big shot here for Dustin. Another yeah, curler here, not afraid to saw Marlies throw the huge the weight. Path, so it, it looks like he's, he's definitely worried about getting a double or a triple here and, and doesn't need it. A nose hit is all you need. Playing it close to that guard. Well, and that's the thing. If he was going to play for the double, he had to play tight to the guard. That's right. Makes the double. The bigger shot to, to wonder about when you talk about the blinders on, and, and we've seen it so many times, Ryan Fry could have split rings, just hit the open one on the other side, sit three and not leave the rocks grouped, probably scores three. Now they may not have a shot. They have to move one of these yellow stones on this attempt. So he's going to look to play down to the yellow that was just delivered. The nice thing for Ryan, this is a very similar shot to what he just played. He's got to move it back far enough to sit second and third. I don't know if I'm Mark, Lisa and Dustin standing back there. I think I'm pretty happy Dustin yep. made that double in the sense well. that even if they're two very good shots here, worst case, they're going to the extra end. It, Dustin they still makes have the nose hit. All Marlies needs to do is make a nose hit and the game's over. But as we've talked watching the other games, you know, as long as your rocks are in the house, you still have a hope and a prayer. Well, had a lot more weight than what he had intended there. Bunches it through the rings and Rolls over to the forefoot, so it's wide open. Marlies just needs to make this stone go away, doesn't have to stay. Marlies, as we are aware, is the lead for the Stephanie Lawton team, her sister. From what I understand, though, Marlies might be stepping away from curling next yes, year. Yeah, she is taking at least a year off. Marlies herself is a Super shooter. She's been a solid lead, but uh, she's always been able to play strongly in the back half of the house here, too. Certainly, based on Dustin's tone, she knew which side to uh, sweep that shot on, but he no made it doubt sound whatsoever. A little more urgent than it needed to be. Makes the nose hit, and they will pick up the win. They stay at 4 0. And 
Emma Miskew, Ryan Fry will drop to three and one. Right next door on sheet three. Last stone on the way. A chance for the win. Needs to slash this and stick it right there. Does. So Danielle Inglis and Mark Anderson, Team Ontario, will pick up the win there. Newfoundland team in another really close game yet again, but just not working out on their side. Yeah, they've had a couple that came right down to the last rock and it didn't work out for them. So that moves the Inglis Anderson Ontario team up to two and two and drops Porter and Shoe down to three losses. So two games left. Sheet seven and eight and sheet eight in an extra end. So we're gonna go over there and, and watch that one. Uh, sheet seven just finishing up, but think they've just run them out of rocks and yet yeah, handshakes there that was a very experienced Quebec team beating the youngsters out of New Brunswick so that keeps the Desjardins at two and two and still in the thick of everything and sheet eight we've got uh, Michelle Kruk and Jason Gunlison looking for their first win and another team looking for their first win, uh, Ashley Awazic and Mark Anderson. Team Manitoba. So it's Ashley throwing the rock right there. And it will be Crook and Gunlison with the hammer in this game, the Red Rocks. Uh, nice draw brought down there and keeps that in front of the T-line. They're at the fifth stone, or pardon me, the, the fourth thrown stone and now can start throwing takeouts. So Jason looking for the double peel here. It's some pretty wide camera angles here. It's not often we're in a facility that have eight sheets of ice. Usually you're in an arena or a smaller club setting where it's four sheets, maybe five sheets to contend with. Jason throwing one of his patented big weight whompers. Makes contact with both guards, will kill them both, rolls the shooter to the boards. So just the three stones left in the house and now it's uh, with the exception of the fact that you've only got sweep, one sweeper, it looks very much like a traditional curling game where you need to steal. It's you guard this stone for your life, and on the other side, you're just looking for one opportunity to get that stone off the button. Where this does get a little bit trickier, with only one sweeper and with such pronounced swing in this ice, it's really hard to throw a perfect guard on an existing stone. Looking to make this stone curl to get the uh, coverage they need. Does get just to a good sized piece of the center line. Looks like, uh, if anything, she's left a piece on the intern side, which might jam onto the red. And the guard is splitting center, so even if they pick that stone off the button now, you've got a chance to put it one in at least as good, if not better. Still always one of those tough questions that when you do see that rock on the button, do you go for it while you've got that chance? This is They could put the guard back better also, so looking for the run. Interesting, if not amusing almost. Uh, Michelle Kruk didn't even put a broom down. She's just standing on the backboards, <laughs> backboards ready to play catch. <laughs> She's one brave young woman. I would not be standing in front of that rock flying in. She was just there to protect the hacks as much as anything on that shot. In my books, those hacks can be fixed. But you're right, we all do try to protect the hacks back there, but that rock is Wasn't wild. trying to sweep, wasn't trying to hold a broom, just, just stand back there standing in front of the hacks as, as a protector. <laughs> I think I'd have been about two sheets over. <laughs> so looking to put that guard back, even in a stronger position. talking to the rock which is always good ploy well they jumped across to try to get it to, to curl and now I think overcooked it on the curling side and has left a pretty good chunk of that if not all of it exposed 
Well, it's got to be a piece under cover. We can see both stones intersecting the center line. Really tough from this angle that we're at to, to tell, but uh, that's what happens when you have to cover sheet eight at the <laughs> at the end of the draw. Michelle going, oh, really? <laughs> She'll have to go up and see what he's going to do on this one. She needs a catcher's mitt, really. If she's just going to stand oh. back there, it should, it should look like a catcher. Okay, he's brought his weight down here a little bit. This isn't quite as overpowering. Makes the hit. Does take the red one, too. I think he knew that was going to happen. He's just trying to clear some room on the front of the button for the draw. So that Manitoba team going to take their time out. Just off the center line. It's got a little piece of it. And I think the reason they're talking or taking their time out and talking about this is do they want to dead bury it or do they want a kind of Christmas tree so they don't leave the open hit on that back one? They're just, it's, it's the rock position that you're discussing here and they wanted to take a minute to talk about that. Not a bad idea. Even if you do have time on the clock, it's just still that mental break knowing that the clock is not ticking does sort of help to settle you into your shot. You don't need any extra anxiety whatsoever. Well, on an extra end, sometimes it does come down to what, what shot do you want to leave here? So that's what they wanted to talk about. <laughs> you know, you could be just nibbling the, the forefoot at the wide open, they wouldn't be able to hit it on the nose to count. I'm not sure what they settled on as far as where they wanted this to end up, but uh, there are a lot of options. Well, and no red saver shots either here. Whatever Michelle is going to be facing needs to be a full shot. Uh, Got to get by the guard, first of all. Looks like it's by. It's by. Comfortably. She's got a nice line. Boy, this is really coming down. That's either that's picked or this is real heavy in this spot. It had no handle left at the end. I got to think it's getting a little flat down the middle now. On the one hand, if uh, you're Michelle Cruck, you're you're happy to have an open shot, but after watching that shot come down like that, does it worry you having to throw through that same spot? So not sure what they've called if they're playing the draw to the full four, if they're going to play to that one in the back. I have to there. think she's going to play the hit after looking at how much weight he had on that one all the way down and they were still sweeping it I gotta think that middle's getting a little heavy on them of course this is an extra end so they're now nine in ends through pardon me nine ends through the middle may well be a little flat down there Ice crew getting a little camera time. Of course, they've got a tough job to do too. This draw is tight enough as it is. They've got to get everything full scrape ready for the next draw. Jason giving this one a hard sweep. So they just don't know what to expect as it comes in over this hog line. It jumps onto the other side, looking to get enough curl to stay on the face of that. He's going to. And Michelle makes Does no mistake. Get well done. Of it. They'll pick up the single point in the extra end, and they pick up their first victory. So, real quickly, we'll just recap all of the scores here in this draw eight. Joanne Courtney and Reed Carruthers had come in at 3 0, but they fall to 2014 champions Kim and Wayne Tuck, 8 1. The Tucks stay at 2 2. Arlies Kasner and Dustin Kaltoff. Moved to 4 0 with a 6 3 victory over Emma Miskew, Ryan Fry. They will drop to 3 1. Daniel Inglis and Mike Anderson keep themselves alive with a 6 5 victory. They're now at 2 2. Donda Lee Dice and Ryan Dice pick up their first win, an 8 4 victory over Lisa Menard and Ray Baker. In our feature game, it was Don McEwen and Mike McEwen with a 10 5 victory over Sherry Just and Derek Samogalski. They now move to 4 0. Sherry and Derek at 2 2. Kaylin Park and Charlie Thomas, the defending champions, continue to cruise. They're now 4 0. 
Nancy Martin and Catlin Schneider fall to three and one there. That was an 11 to four final. Emily and Robert Desjardins, the father-daughter team, with an eight to six victory over Julia Hunter and Alex Robichaud. And you just saw the final in the extra end. Michelle Kruk and Jason Gunlison pick up the single point and the victory over Ashley Iwazik and Mark Anderson. And that concludes draw eight. We'll be back at 1.30 for draw number nine and we will be featuring Jocelyn Peterman and Brett Gallant against Jesse Kaufman and Brock Virtue. Join us for that game. We want to thank you for being here this morning and we'll see you at 1.30.